Welcome back to the episode of Data. We're going to do a new type of video on this one. So you may have heard in some of my previous videos, I talked about uh, my old hobbies. Counter-Strike being one, or I used to play that pretty competitively. Um, I used to travel around, do some LAN tournaments. Um, but another one I used to play very competitively was Magic the Gathering. I used to do... A lot of things with that. Um, when I was 16, I got invited to do some tryouts. Um, I don't know if they would say, I would say they were tryouts. I qualified to go to some uh, world tour rankings. And uh, that year, the world tour was actually in Japan. <laughs> and we went down to a tournament at Costa Mesa. I placed really well. Um, and so I actually... Potentially was going to get invited to go do that. I had a high DCI ranking because we used to travel around to all the different car shops and I used to play. Um, place pretty pretty high. I was either finishing first or second. So um, I was doing Friday Night Magic all the time. Drafts. Pretty much anything I could that I can get rating on. On Saturdays we were traveling down to like... This, they used to do these uh, huge conventions... Pretty commonly, um, in uh, I think it was Co was it Costa Mesa? I oh, know it was your Belinda. <laughs> um, they had a uh, a giant convention hall where they would do an event. So I mean, I used to do it, and I loved playing Magic. And my friends hated playing against me because we used to do like little popper decks, we used to do theme decks, but I always just had decks that were very focused on winning. Um. And, you know, this was before Jund and all those other fun things used to exist. I'm talking about, like, way back in the day. I'm talking about, like, Tempest or a Saga. Um, you know, <laughs> my original infinite combo deck was with, like, a workhorse. Uh, so just, you know, a lot of really fun old things. But um, for some reason, my algorithm has been throwing me a lot of Magic the Gathering content on YouTube. And so I've been checking them out a little bit. And uh, one of the things I noticed is the game's just so different now. And it's so... The archetype of it is just so evolved. And I was just like, wow, that's... The game's really cool now. Um, I fell out of it... Probably right around, like, the tail end of high school. Um, just because at the time, right... Uh, I wanted a car. <laughs> I needed a car. So I ended up uh, selling my my collection, and um, I had like a Black Lotus. I had a couple Moxes. I think I had Sapphire and Ruby at that time uh, because that was my big con control and burn. But um, you know my collection was really good. I wish I had kept it because I mean it would have been like stocks. I at this point. Um, I would say if I kept it today, my collection easily could have been topping maybe close to six figures. Um, I had two full play sets of all the dual lands. Um, I didn't have a lot of power nines. I didn't have like Ancestral Recall. I didn't have any of those fun things. I did have a really... My Black Lotus, so the story of the Black Lotus I got was, um, I forgot what the set that came out was, but it had Masticor in it. And Masticor was suddenly like the coolest control deck for tournaments. And I liked it. Um, <laughs> but I found this guy and he's like, I have this Black Lotus and it got bent in half. Um... So the crease on it was terrible. But the Black Lotus. And I traded him four Masticors for it. I sold that bent in half Black Lotus. I want to say at the time, Black Lotus was going for about 1500 to 2000 I sold it for $900. Like the dude didn't care that it was bent in half. I traded four like $25 cards at the time that I pulled out of like one booster box that I had won at a tournament. So I literally was just basically like, oh, hey, look, I want a Black Lotus. <laughs> um, 
so yeah like if i had kept that collection i would probably be sitting on a pretty good investment um but yeah i wanted a car you know to drive my girlfriend around <laughs> do other things right so uh i sold my whole collection um i got rid of it and i ended up buying a pc um i got a <laughs> a honda i bought a honda um coupe a little civic coupe two door that uh, i bought from my uncle for like i don't know <laughs> i think in total he only charged me like 1500 dollars for it um but it was nice <laughs> it was cool it was a really good like beginner car and uh, <laughs> yeah like I just did things with my money. Um, and then I just, I came back a little bit when I helped a card shop. Um, I took a second job at a card shop when my dad got sick because I could go in whenever I needed to, to make up hours. Um, and I helped him develop his singles, um, you know, marketing. Uh, Cause originally he was only selling boosters and I was just like, that's, you know, for your store to really make a lot of money, you got to get into the singles game because um, it's piecing out singles and taking those trade ins and, you know, working that. And he took off with that. And like, I think he owns three different card shops now and I'm super excited for him. Um, that's awesome. But yeah, so I would do that. And that was kind of in the Zendikar area, Zendikar era, I should say. Um, but that was really short lived right around when. Um, What was I want to rem I'm trying to remember the last thing I did. Um and it might have been like pro my last deck was like the a proliferation engine one. Um was it worm coil engine? I can't even remember. But I've been out of it long enough. Um and the main reason I've never gone back is I don't have money to buy magic cards anymore. Right? I can play Hearthstone because it's free. Um I don't have to invest money into it. My decks are never competitive, but there's a lot of fun things about it. Um, so I was talking with my friends about it because they also played Magic, and I guess he found he found some of his old decks, and he was like, oh my god, do you remember this deck I made? And so we were on Skype, and he showed me his old... He had an old Winter Orb deck. Propaganda. <laughs> um... And he had a Telerian Academy in it. And I laughed because I used to jive with Telerian Academy. And I was like, oh my god, like Telerian Academy. And I went and I looked it up. Because I was just like, man, all of these commander decks are coming out. Why doesn't I always like all the videos I watch? No one had Telerian Academy in it. That shit's still banned. It's like they can't have it exist because it just it engages too many turn one kills, apparently. That's that's kind of what the gist of what I was getting was. But so we were joking and um, he's like, oh, you should get back into magic and then start streaming it. And I was just like, dude, I can't I don't have the money to invest in that. And I was just like, are you going to be sponsoring me, you know, and feeding my magic the gathering addiction? Um, but he's like, no, just play it free to play. And I was like, what do you mean play it free to play? And he was telling me that he read up on it. And apparently on Magic the Gathering Arena, they have like a free to play version of it that's reminiscent of Hearthstone. So, his challenge to me, and my challenge for this series of videos is, how far can somebody truly get playing Magic the Gathering free to play? How accessible is it to someone that has a lot of old knowledge, but no new knowledge? So I don't know any of the new mechanics. Um, I don't know any of the new cards, right? Is it even possible to make this game playable free to play? I don't know. I don't know if it's possible. But let's see how far I can go before I literally hit that paywall and the game becomes unplayable. So sit back, enjoy, and watch what will feel like an old ass man play this game. My hope is that I can get some content out of this and I don't lose on the first video. I don't even know how many packs you get to start. Um, I did create my account to start. He told me that I should do that because it's got some uh, doxing data in it. <laughs> Which, there's nothing to dox. It's just my my uh, YouTube um, <laughs> password. But let's go. Okay, so 
it started with a story. I don't know. I, I shut it off because I wanted to make a video. But here we go. Complete the tutorial to unlock five different decks. So, you start with one. Wake up. Wake up. Oh, okay, this is what I shut off. <sighs> Looks like you barely survived your last battle. But with some training, you'll become a force to be reckoned with. Let's get started. The elves of Lanawar seven are impressive warriors. Perhaps one of them will help us practice. The I'm... forest belongs to the, the elves. The UI is pretty impressive. Mm, she seems like an enthusiastic teacher. You'll need to draw mana from lands to cast your spells. Good. You don't have enough lands to cast anything yet. <laughs> So that's all you can do right now. Thanks. What the hell is that? What? No, Play turn one land or else. So you can summon a creature. All right. Do I have to actually legitimately tap my land, or can I just summon it? Okay, I can just summon it. You can I summon guess creatures to fight for you. Tapping if I wanted to de uh, designate how I wanted to spend my my lands. Does it make me end my turn or anything? <clears throat> so go to combat. Um, yeah, sir, you don't main phase cast spells. That's not a good strategy. Only one sure. of your creatures is ready to attack. <laughs> I'll go with it. Summoning sick. <laughs> All of that. Really. Click the button to the bottom right to confirm my attack. One attacker. Let's go. I have to pick my target. You're going to pay for that. I'm surprised it didn't make me play my planes. <laughs> you could have played the planes. Oh no, it really is. No, end my turn. Well, now my opponent knows I have no cards in my hand, so. That's never a good thing. Okay. Gonna have to deal with it. Alright, so we got Loxed on the Lion Breaker. The Elephant Soldier. So. Keep pressing the attack. Oh, that'll actually let me attack. Cool. Because this doesn't actually do anything. Attack! Ah, you've been blocked. Oh no! Huzzah! Two Two Trade. Ah! Go in. Admirable. Let's play the lock. Maybe I have on. to crush you. I guess it does it auto end your turn if you have no other action. That's a big problem. I guess that keeps people from doing other things. That's a big problem. I drew a planes. That beast will destroy your creatures if you attack now. So what? Are you gonna make me not attack? <laughs> You've shown spirit, but I will show you strength. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that feral giant strength. <laughs> Good thing I left a blocker. Stand your ground. One of your creatures can block it. It's got like a Yugi feel to it. But now I can't win. Take Look. down that beast while it's still recovering. <laughs> I love tutorials, like how well they set them up. You're not making this easy. <laughs> like they they came out with a magic game. I think that's probably the most like recent I've ever played magic. Is they came with that magic game on 360. Um, 
it, it auto ended my turn all the other times. Uh, I guess I should probably play this. <laughs> We've got you cornered. Cast Cat. the spell. All creatures Clear here a path to finish her. Well, let's make sure I get a planes down. My eight. I can already tell my decks well are gonna be the most like outsider. basic. <laughs> Basic, basic, basic things. See, now, Ooh, I will say this. Shiny. I don't know if they have anything. Oh, I You've unlocked a new card. Something. Okay, so it's exactly like it is on... Yeah, good work back um, then. But if you're going to battle another planeswalker, you've got to be prepared for I anything. I am prepared. Where you just unlocked more cards, like, over and over again. But that was it. It didn't, have, attack. it didn't have anything else. Rahla, Raging Goblin! Uh, that art style sucks. It makes it look like that goblin yes. is huge. First blood. <laughs> like, <laughs> is this goblin 90 feet tall? These things are basically harmless. Are they? Oh no, he's got huge. Oh, you got three. Okay, maybe worry just a little bit. <laughs> Aha! Second blood! Ah. Alright! You need to mount a defense. I do. Thank God I drew a 2 2 creature. I've got more where that came from. I love goblin decks. I will definitely be building a goblin deck. Ooh, what's the sanctuary cat do? It's a one two. Ooh. I can play that, and then guess what? I can play a two two and a one. Your creatures aren't tough enough to survive being blocked. Hold them back. Oh, you want me to attack? Everybody but me, charge! So, my question is, are they wanting me to double block here? Is that what they're trying to teach me? That I could kill this 3-3 three, three by doing this? And then I could block a 1-2? Hey, nobody kills my troops but me! But me! <laughs> oh, Goblin Grenade, they reprinted it, hell yeah. I love Goblin Grenade. <laughs> Let me play that, because why not? It's weird how the game feels automated in some areas and not automated in others. Oh, here it is! Here it is! Is that a Goblin thing? Dude, Goblin decks would have been legit with a card like that. Four, four for a four, four essentially. But if you had a Goblin King out, I don't even know if they have a Goblin King anymore. But that'd be four for a uh, essentially seven. That'd be nice. Oh, I drew my Spirit Guardian. Thank God I have exactly five mana. Nice defense. <laughs> He'd be a fool to attack you now. He would be. See, now, if I attack, conventions would say this would block this and that would block that, right? Let's find out and see what happens. Oh, no. Never hold back. Never back down. Never walk barefoot in a goblin warren. <laughs> no block. Why would I no block this? It's time to bring the pain. Yeah. This is going to hurt. Each player takes three damage. No. <laughs> oh, what? He's not going to attack? He's not going to block with that guy? A good general knows when that beat. So you should probably give up now. I should rope you every time like this is hard for them. Have 
mercy on me, please! Got a lot of mana. Ah, Got a cute eggs. little... Why am goblin. I not surprised? <laughs> You're still here? Uh-oh. It's the pokey bits that hurt the most. I guess I could have taken the seven damage. I don't I don't know what they were trying to get me to do with that. Two for plus two two. I'm not aura. You're a quick learner. So oh, let's I try know. a more challenging lesson. Is that what Merfolk look like now? He might look like I'm gonna laugh when the first but his knowledge is the first boundless. game I played I just get blown out Stay because patient and keep an open mind the dude's got like a five if it is wisdom you seek deck. I will teach you I don't even know if I'll have access to play this we'll find out. one one flyer birds fly freely unfettered by earthly bombs it's an old trick because Everything is connected. You play the land you that must you understand just the air, you think you land, have a lot of land, and sea. Enchanted creature. Yes, oh, that bird can fly over any blockers on the ground. You don't say. Oh. Why wouldn't I just put that on my Good. Then I You've been it. paying attention. I guess I have. <laughs> Face! Obstacles may block your path, but do not lose sight well, of your true goal. look at this conveniently for toughness Is creature that got played. wearing a pirate hat? You need a counter spell me? You got shield open. Why not? Sometimes the best way around is through. Oh, is it? Well, Battles ebb I'm and flow. one mana short and one turn short of playing a spiritual guardian. When that target creature. Oh, well, that's fun. Okay. <laughs> Later, locks it on. Keep going. He's running out of cards. Is he? This deck looks like it's got 31 in it. Yeah, that's right. Look at that sanctuary cat. Now I can kill that conveniently placed. Oh. Yeah, he's got if five. you keep to the shallows, you'll never learn the secrets of the depths. Wow, that sounds deep. Oh, I got another crab. Dude's infested with crabs. It's an issue. Well, good thing I can gain some money. This is just forever, uh... If you make big waves, <laughs> you a 4-6. When you get carried away. Random ass, so Enchanted creature majestic. gets plus three, plus three, and one. So, the question becomes... Do I just put that here? Too bad that doesn't have flash on it. It'd be cast at instant speed. So I guess I can go all in, and then I just chump block with the Spiritual Guardian. I don't know what they're trying to teach me to make my creatures bigger, but I mean, I wonder what would happen in the game if I if I cast that over here, just to like, <laughs> just to fully like f myself. Student is a river. The teacher is an ocean. 
The master is also an ocean. Wait. I mean, what? it says I have 29 oh, cards in my deck. Mystic I was thinking of isn't even a merfolk. So, I actually don't know who this guy is. I guess it assumes that I wouldn't have been able to kill with that. I don't know. I don't, I don't understand where they were going. With. It was fun while it lasted. <laughs> I guess I kind of literally just put every aura I had on the sanctuary cat. Games like this are always fun. Like I get that they're designed to try and like teach you how to play a game. At the same time, like target block team. Oh, now I have instant. Well, that's good. I have ten more. Cards. Okay, you're almost ready to take on anyone. So we had goblins, we have mercs, we're getting now elves. Oh no, dragons. Dragon hand shadow. So this is a black thing. Red again. Watch her every move. And be ready for anything. Sure thing. This opponent has to, oh, I guess everything was instant speed. Oh, and what that pretty little working? thing has wandered into my web? Okay, it is. It is. Have a bunch of debilitating spells. Meow. I like Go how it makes on, noise. Me. I will definitely attack you because I fear not. This is my favorite part. Okay. My kitty got blown it up. Let I get under your skin. Your move. It is my move. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna attack. And you're gonna teach me a lesson by also destroying it? No. Give me a rogue. So what does everything in her deck get cast at flash speed? Did you see that coming? Uh, I kind of did. I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, look. I got an aura. So I guess is what you're gonna teach me that when I go to cast this, you're gonna kill my creature in response? Maybe not. I guess let's attack. Everybody. Oh, no, no. I not block it. Oh, no, then you're gonna kill it. As an additional cost, sack a creature. Oh, that's cool. That's actually a pretty badass spell. Alter it. Aw, we don't even get a hit in. Oh, no. Why is that? Because he declared a blocker. Or blah. Um, I guess I am gonna play a plane because I do need five since apparently five is the maximum. What is this thing? What? Soul Hunter Russia can't block. Fun. When it enters the battlefield, if you cast it from your hand, it deals one damage to target opponent for each one. Oh, that's a pretty badass mono black deck. And damn, dude. Target blocking. Or blocked creature control gets plus two, plus two. Yeah, so I guess. Careful. You can't afford to take another hit like that. I guess Lock I first. could. Then it's time for some trickery of your own. <laughs> some trickery. Cast it now. But what if she casts something else? Ooh, very clever. She's got four cards in her hand. I got nothing. She about to flash into creatures to kill my creature. Who would have thought? <laughs> You've fallen right into my trap. But heart of the cards, you be, I have a tactical advantage waiting for you. You never saw this coming, even though it's a spell I just cast. Last time. I respect that. <laughs> I I'm glad you respect that. I've got nothing, really. I'm at your mercy. I love how opponents tell me that they have nothing in their hands. Casting this. Cast this only if a creature is attacking you. Cast three, one, one. That's cool. Look, it costs exactly five. Oh, I guess I have to do it. 
Looks like you've let your guard down. <laughs> oh no. Dude, how many is that? Now it's my turn. Hurry, make some blockers. Okay. That one blocks that one. They should have like an auto block. Ugh, why like won't you die? Like now you've got her. Yes, I do. If only every game of magic I play, every single card I draw is the exact card touch. I need, I am going to be so I'm never going to struggle in any way to become a master. <laughs> most definitely I'm not going to top deck a land when all I Ooh. The Sarah Angel, the inspiring commander. Never another creature with power two or less enter. Now I need six mana. Nice job! That was some quick thinking. It was. When we first met, you looked within an inch of you. Who were you fighting in the first place, anyway? <laughs> I feel like I should know who that is, but I. Nico is that Nicholas? Okay, yeah. okay. After I annihilated you, I really didn't expect to see you or am again. Am I Nicholas? Is that what they're saying? Was he just talking what? in third person? This is a terrible idea. There's no way you're prepared for this guy. Well, I guess if you gave me a really good deck. <laughs> I guess he was talking in third person. I'll make a deal with you, Planeswalker. Defeat me, and I'll let you go. Okay. Lose, and you will serve me for eternity. I like that too. Did I actually Fight get to draw a natural? On it. Is that really good? Sometimes you need to make a tough decision. Show phases. Auto choose replacement. Automatically choose the order of replacement effects rather than manually. Fixed rules, text size, tab, cycle, full control. Shift control, hold full. Doesn't mean auto tap. I like auto assign combat damage. Your creatures automatically assign their combat. I feel like that's pretty good. Auto order triggered ability. Automatically order triggered abilities rather than manually ordering them. All right. Well, I'm not going to change anything until I realize that it sucks. All right. What do we have? We have a Mazamic Mummy. When it enters the battlefield, each player discards a card. Well, I guess I choose to discard the planes. Did he just throw away a dragon? You look surprised. I do as I choose with well, what I don't is have mine. graveyard hands, so I'm going to assume that mine. I'm going to get F on that. Everything here exists or perishes at my whim. Okay. Power. Oh, he's got the red. Only thing that he's got matters. a shock. There's or a lightning bolt or incinerate or whatever burn spell would be currently active. You draw three cards and lose your life. Yo, I like that card. Mono Black might be a shout, man. There, there seems like there's a lot of really good Mono Black cycle. And if I actually had, like, some legitimate, um, cards. Well, he's tapped out, so he can't respond. And I can get a free kill in, because obviously he's probably going to... That was my issue with the other magic game, is there was no like. I will yeah. let nothing stand like, in the it way just, of what It was I the most seek. generic, like, Not you can manipulate death. the AI to do stupid shit. From your graveyard under the battlefield. That creature is now black. Flying haste, black volcanic dragon. Out of the cards. Okay. You go, yeah. 
cool thing that you're gonna attack because I couldn't block it anyway. Enough of this. Enough of this. That was bad. Copy. Probably begin. Can I just like choose to skip that? Oh god, that button does. Okay. The seismic. That land LD. Two damage to each creature without flying. Oh, okay. I like it. It wipes. Later, board. The fly. The fly. Whoa! Thank God I do a uh, planes. I can cast an inspiring commander. And then you know what my next card to draw is gonna be, right? The spirit one where I summon three one ones. Target player draws seven cards. Well, that's fun. <laughs> my triumph is at hand. Might be able to pull this off. God, I get the heart of the heart this no game every matter. time. Soon there will be nothing left of you either. Hey! It's just gonna wipe my board every time. All I succumb here. to Boras. Omi is over here. Cast a spell if I'm not being attacked. Summon three, one, one, one. So, um, he actually does have a swamp, so convention, if I actually knew what was, uh... Hold back, so you can prepare for his attack. I guess I have to hold. It said hold, so I will hold, even though... Unless... Okay, so let's... Pass six. I get to drag three cards. You could gain three life. You don't have flash. Oh, but you do. So, I guess what? You want me to block this? But that's three, four, five. Choose your block. Oh, what? So I can't kill that. That's flying. So I will just jump. Oh no, these are flying now. Okay, so, I would do like this. And what do I do? Want, I don't know if it wants me to jump one. To build into the algorithm, I assume that's what it wants me to do. Yeah, I guess yeah. Like this, and then I tap the Kills the volcanic dragon. Reply. Congratulations, you're actually beginning to irritate me. Well, guess what? I'm about to go infinite, chumpy. Watch this. It's gonna make me draw something else that's gonna make me draw something else. It's gonna make me draw something Such else. Such impudence! Oh no, I just did a better say it. Yeah! That works. An angel. Mm -hmm. Do you really think a mere angel will stop me? I do. My power is beyond that of a god. Are you going to try not to attack? No? I really want to hit him for one. Oh. Uh, yeah, I wish I get punished. So I... I don't know... what it wants me to do. Am I supposed to leave the Sarah Angel alive and then jump block here? And... Take six, then wait. This one might be... Take six, and then I can defeat. kill that here. We've come this far, don't give up now. Back like this. I don't know if it wants me to be playing defensive or it wants me like being dumb. It's like this puts me in the lethal next turn. As long as I don't get killed. Is okay. thin. But I don't Let's know. finish it. Because okay. like here I could go blocky on this. Right? And then I could block on right, I don't need to necessarily block there. But I could block here with kills, right? And I'll block the advantage on this. This is 
it. I could just see this and kill. Like that's the uh, only thing with these games where every card you draw is predetermined. I don't know. I don't know how it thinks I should be conventionally playing as opposed to like what I would do. Let's let's see. We killed it. So Nicholas Bolos. Oh, 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 badass I am. That dragon better think twice before he tries messing with you again. I always thought that this is what magic should have been doing. Is giving out cases on Friday night magic as opposed to Do I unlock them all? Aerial domination. Cold blooded killers. Goblins everywhere. Yay! So I have all those decks now. The question is, do I get cards? Do I get to open packs? When, oh when, do I have to spend money? Because I could probably spend money right now. Banned standard cards. Here we go. Yo, these look crazy. Fable of the Mirror. Creates a 2-2 Goblin Shaman token. With so every turn, I guess ticks down. I guess so. You get a two-two common that does whenever this creature attacks, I get a treasure token. Treasure tokens give you mana. You may discard up to two cards if you do. Draw that many. Ditch two lands, get two burn. Exile this, and return it to the battlefield. Transform. Oh. So I have to figure out how that operates. So it's not legal in um, a lot of formats. <laughs> okay. Five. Target opponent sacrifices a creature. If they can't, they lose two life and you draw a card. Repeat the process for an enchantment in a planeswalker. for an artifact vehicle the vehicles reckoner bank buster enters the battlefield with three charge counters a two remove the charge counter from the thing to draw a card then if you have no charge counters on it get a treasure token and a one one fireless pilot creature this creature cruise vehicle future cruise vehicles as though it power were two or greater Tap any number of other creatures you control with a power of three or more. This vehicle becomes an artifact creature until the end. Okay, so you have to counter. You tap three power, you get a four four creature. As a creature, it's a just a four four. I don't get how that. Is better I mean I guess yeah you get one more power of toughness but you activate it as a creature so then I can get destroyed but then it has creature hate that it can be cast on it equivalent wild cup meat hut massacre do an act when enter the battlefield each creature gets minus X minus X G. When a creature a creature you control dies, each opponent loses one life. Whenever a creature an opponent control dies, you gain one life. So it's essentially a vamp for one. And if you had a ton of one one creatures, you could just essentially so it's essentially three. And depending on how many one ones you had, you can just blow them up. That's pretty powerful, and and it swings, so it's it's three plus minus. Because <laughs> I mean, assumably, who cares about the one life if I'm going for the kill, right? So if I had a bunch of like rat tokens or skeletons or zombies or whatever the hell I'm producing, that's pretty cool.
and then it becomes an enchantment that's badass forever, right? So you can kill your one once, blow them up, and then if you had a way to sack them or to creature hate yourself, you can cause even more damage. I could see why that's that's pretty broken in black. <laughs> So I wonder if there's an interactable with this. It says, so when it comes into play, each creature gets minus X, minus X until end of turn. So for the end of turn, can I have a stacking effect that does minus one, minus one, even to each creature that comes into play afterwards? So essentially, if I had a combo where, let's say a creature, anytime you have a creature that dies, you can put a one, one token into play. I don't know if there's a creature like that that exists, but my assumption would be then you can create a infinite loop where your creature dies, then it creates another 1-1, one, one, then it gets minus 1, minus 1, then it dies. So it's, a, it's an endless looping <laughs> trigger. Ooh, that brainstorm is beautiful. That is incredible. Blood Moon. Not basic lands. That, that card is... Uh, essentially, all non-basic lands become... Got so much hate built into it. I can see why people hate that. Aw, oh, come on. Agent of Treasury? I feel like that's an old school card. I mean, so here's the thing, right? If you had a way to... So this doesn't say that when it leaves play, they gain control of their permanent back. So if you had a way to bounce this, my assumption is you could just gain, constantly gain control of their... Um, so if you had a way to flash it in and out or phase it in and out of existence. Because it's not when you cast it, it's when it enters the battlefield. If you had any way of phasing it in and out... I don't even know if phasing's a thing anymore, but... If you had any way of having it come in and out of play, you could just mad hate. And it's a permanent, too. So it couldn't target a planeswalker, but it could target any permanent. So you can hate any artifact, any land. <laughs> Channel. I mean, channels. Channel's always busted. Whatever set this is, that's incredible. I wish it would let me like hover over the set. Tell me what it is. Counterspell? How the hell are you gonna ban Counterspell? I mean, Dark Rituals always. So why are these banned and not just restricted? Because on the restricted list, you could play one. Banned means you can't play any, unless they've changed that. Because, I mean, Counterspell... I guess if you ever had four Counterspells in your deck. But, I mean, then they added... Um, they added the three-cost one, right? So it was three to counter a spell. Then they kept on changing it so, like, it's counter a creature spell or counter a sorcery. Or it's, like, they kept on, like, cycling it. I don't know. That seems weird to me unless there's something that lets you abuse the shit out of that. Um, Dark Ritual is just OP. Always going to be OP. Land Tax was always OP. Intruder Alarm and creatures don't untap during their <laughs> controllers untap steps. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield, untap all creatures. Guild of the Dead. I mean, these are just all, all old school power. Oh man, look at that lightning bolt. That's amazing. Why is Lightning Bolt banned? One for three? Okay, so basically you're just... <laughs> they've banned my entire history in Magic. <laughs> Natural Order, right? As an additional cost, sack a green creature. You to search for a green creature card and put it in the battlefield. 
I mean, that shit was... That shit was, like, OP. Just... Mono green ramp into death. <laughs> I want to say... What was it? It was... Natural order into, like, a primeval titan or something, or... <laughs> something ridiculous. Necro Necropentance. Skip your draw step. Whenever you discard a card, exile a card from your graveyard. Pay one life. Top card of your life. Put it into your hand. What does he do? E for the crowns. So a blue green creates a food token. So it produces. So plus two. That's insane. So it gets to go. It gets the ultimate as soon as it on turn two. Um, but anyways, create a food token. So you get to create. I think food tokens are mana, right? Oh no, food token is paid two, gain two life. Oh, maybe that's not that good. Okay, whatever. Plus one target artifact or creature loses all abilities and becomes a 3 3 elk creature. <laughs> it doesn't lose its color, though. Well, I guess it becomes a green creature. Huh. I mean, I guess that lets you chumpy block. I'm sure that. I'm sure that had some, some crazy shit, but anyways. Oh, it permanently becomes a 3-3 creature? And loses all abilities? See, this is where I don't know if it's just because it's not worded correctly or if that's true. So, for plus one, you can hate any artifact in the game. Because it just, be it just turns into a 3-3 token. Like, that's... It's not even a token, a 3-3. It just becomes a 3-3 green creature. If that's play, if that plays exactly how it reads, that is straight honky-tonk bullshit. Holy crap. Just straight-up artifact hate of the highest degree. Or creature as well. I mean, like, what the hell? <sighs> that has to be till end of turn. I mean, it doesn't say T-O-E or T-E-O till end of turn. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's, that's ridiculous if that's true. Because it's just a built-in once per turn, just F anything on the board pretty much. <laughs> That must break so many decks. Okay, so the, see, like that, if I'm reading it correctly, that makes sense. Exchange control of target artifact or creature you control. And target creature and opponent controls with a power of three or less. Even that seems pretty jank. Alright, once upon a time, that sounds familiar. If this is the first spell you've cast this game, you may cast it without... Wait, what? So it's a free, to free the five card scry. Well, that's pretty cool. And I can see why that's powerful. A free scry that just lets you, it just lets you hand fix. On green. So if you were playing green... I mean, it just seems like all of this is straight up. Oh my god, Spreading Seas? Get the hell out of here. So one of the last decks I went to a tournament and played was... It was a just pure BS land hate. Because at the time, everyone was running all fetch lands, right? So everyone was running like 8 to 12 fetch lands in their decks. Um, so I built this green, blue, black land... Like, it was a... I don't even know if they had a classification for it because it was four colors. It was green, blue, black, red. And it was just pure land hate. Um, and it did really well because it had uh, Herodestodon. You could jack up a bunch of creatures. It had uh, Acidic Slimes so that I could creature hate. I could because it has Death Touch. So it was really good for like dealing with issues. Um, but then it can also destroy artifact or enchantment if I if I remember correctly. It's when it comes into play, destroy target artifact, enchantment, or land. But it costs five. Was it five or six? It's two forests and whatever. Um so sneak attack, yeah. You have to get rid of sneak attack, because sneak attack's just broken and dumb. 
and then if it goes into his if it goes any <laughs> into any no matter sneak attacks always broken that's just instantaneous sneak attacks always got to get banned it's too it's too dumb and too powerful a deck period um and i think was it i think that was originally from stronghold right all right so what does this pilfler do you so he's a 2-1 monkey pirate <laughs> whenever he deals combat damage create a treasure token and exile the top card of the player's library until the end of turn you may cast that card yo what the hell that's legitimately op wow that's amazing Dude, this little bastard must be amazing in Commander. If you were... I mean, you have no problem producing every... Producing the rainbow. There's no... You never have any trouble mana fixing. Is dash... Does it give it haste? Well, let me see. What does dash do? You may cast this spell for its dash cost. If you do, it gains haste and it's returned from the battlefield to the hand. What? So for two, you get a swing, and if they have no blockers or no response, you get to get a treasure token, which then mana fix. As long as it doesn't cost two... As long as it's, like, you're not two mono, like... Uh, cost, if you couldn't mana fix to it. If it was just one, you could cast anything, if you had the mana for it. Alright. <laughs> see, like that, I can see the potential. Because you get to steal your opponent's deck. Which one, if you're ever stealing and casting the top of someone's deck, it's mill, it's it's everything. You're stealing the card, you're milling them for one, you're using its ability, which generally, if you're casting it, just is like, it feels bad, period. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, so anyways, spreading C is not necessarily land, it's not land destruction they still get to produce land but it's land hate and it draws a card and it only costs two so in that era of magic land destruction wasn't prevalent i think because they had gotten rid of stone rain at this in this iteration and so i think we only had the fork which was what stone crushing stone or something like that and it was a four cost uh sorcery speed land destruction Rushing Boulder, maybe I don't remember what it was called. <laughs> so like this was an this is an incredible because you had all of the all the dual lands that came in tapped and like game life that was the the big thing. So mana fixing was really good. So if you could get like anything like at that time like Grix was really powerful. Um, the red green I can't remember what that's called. Was it is it Gruel or Grun? I don't remember. It starts with the G I think. But that deck was really really strong and annoying. Um, so technically, you could you could land hate the shit out of somebody, and as long as you picked a color, you could get away with it. So if they were like splashing to one, and you just hated all of the green away for the splash, or you hated all the black away or the red, yeah. So, but it's funny that that got banned because a lot of people hated it. Like they didn't think it was they didn't think it was a strong card. But uh, anyways, let's continue. <laughs> Time warp will duh. Um, that says Oracle. Devotion. De so Devotion was something that came out um, while I wasn't playing. And so Devotion, I believe, is based off of permanents. So for each blue permanent, that's your Devotion level. So for two, it comes into play, and you get to put one of them on the top, and then so you get to you get to fix your deck. Bottom in random order. X is greater than your is greater than or equal to the number of cards in your library. You win the game. Hmm. I guess you can mill yourself. I'm, I mean, I can think of some cards that would have would interact with that really well. Um, I believe there was like a black card where you could pay, you could choose to like exile your whole deck, <laughs> or you could you could do something with it. But that's cool. 
I can see where that got done. But anyways, counter target spell. Choose one, two, or three at random. His controller mills that many cards, then exiles the cards from the top of their library until they exile a non-land card with a different name than that spell. Wow. Okay, so that could get really dangerous. <laughs> That's... I mean, it's a it's a red mill. And it's not permanent, really. They may cast that card without paying its mana cost. Then put the exiled cards on the bottom. So... I mean, it's kind of cool, because you... You get to do deck manipulation to control them, so I guess if they scried something to the top, or if they they peek something up to the top, or if they ever did any kind of deck fixing, you can counter deck fix them by putting it to the bottom. But the the negative is it they get to cast it for free. I'm sure there's some way to abuse this, but anyways, let's continue. Um, yeah, time warp is just time warp. People don't like when you get to take extra turns, even if it costs five. Then they added one, and it was like, <laughs> I think it cost eight to take an extra turn. And then I think there was even one that cost like 10 or 12, and you get to take two turns or some shit like that. Um, but yeah, anyways. It's interesting that it feels like there's so much blue-green hate in this. But, I mean, those are generally the two that have the most broken, like, um, permanent infinite cycles but we'll see has to be a bell you control it can't be countered wow that is so strong veil of summer an instant spell haste that gives everything hexproof so you can't target it so it would fizzle any spell cast wow what an incredibly strong <laughs> And I mean it I almost want to say it's just a instant put in on any commander. I don't know if historic counts for commander though. But anyways, at the beginning of your end step untap oh well, wilderness reclamation. I feel like that was an old card that seems explorer cards, barn, expressive iteration. Okay, so what? We're, <laughs> I spent all that time looking, but um, had I not read all those things, it would have been 30 minutes before they tried to get me to spend money. Oh, look at that. Dude, that sound. That sound makes me want to buy a pack to rip open. Oh, and you can click on it. Okay, let's get started. I acquired a bunch of decks. Brains, Scrapyard Sacrifice, Charging Ahead, Grave Secrets, Arcane Expressions, Legends of Phyrexia, Growing Hope, Scavengers, Flying High, and Rebel Armor. Nice. Flame it. Flame it all. Okay, now where are we at? Cast 20 white or blue spells and I get 500 gold. Cool. Cast. Win a, win a deck. Do some things. Do some other things. Alright, so they said... You have two ranks. One for constructed and, and one. one for limited. Your constructed rank is affected by ranked gains. While your limited rank is tied to draft and sealed events. Ajani. And this is where you'll find options on how to customize your look. You can okay. also choose your avatar and more. So you have all the old planeswalkers. You've already lost. There's nothing I won't. Oh, I didn't live through hell to loot. Let's see if you're worthy. Wasn't Vivian green white? This war is I'm the best fire starter there is. Chandra. The torments of the. I am proud to. F the sh if I what? My hair is on. Wild and. Ugh. The Timmy the Power Gamer. Oh my god. That's incredible. Galen. Radius. I've always loved like the art style in Magic. It's always felt really like good. 
There's a couple sets where it felt like a really big miss, but I mean, honestly, Johnny the combo player, I love that. You do. Right. I love um, I've, I've lost a pollage. I have list. conquered death. Why not? As I will conquer you. Earn XP and quests when I get match rewards. So these are my decks to start. I'm assuming these are all these are all the starter decks or is the example brawl decks. Okay. Codex of the multiverse. Welcome to my humble home. I'll give you the tour. Wow. Here's just I mean, a few this is a really smart way to get them there. to spend money. My if you want to learn the very basics of how to play magic, planes, quick what did start I get? is the place to reward. Well, start. I got planes and islands. It's well, that's really good. It's jam-packed with expert information packs. and strategy, and you can always replay the tutorial. Okay. Well, was upon us. What is this? Gives me some more packs. Okay, so you gain access to all the. Oh yeah, Lord of the Rings. I heard the land from that. So that's really nice. So arena weekly announcements are here. I'm not gonna click on that. Look how amazing the land looks. Oh, I didn't get any land from that. Dude, those are awesome. I don't have any foils though, so I'm not, I'm not cool. People will know I suck. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. See the, the O's, like the machine. It's in every picture. That's nice. It's a nice touch. Excellent. Just gives me three packs. We got Innistrad. Okay. Damn, Innistrad came out with some basic lands. I wonder if I could just keep making, uh, I could like, <laughs> I guess I could. If these are actual, like, real packs that you get to rip, um, if you could just keep, like, <laughs> creating a new account, that would be, like, ridiculous. I'm sure somebody's done it. Keep creating a new account until you, like, got the, uh, legendary or whatever card you really wanted. The waste. It's basic land. That color, it just creates colorless mana. Yeah. I, I assume that's what colorless mana is. The Brothers War, I got six packs. Right. Oh, let's get it. We got booster knights, patch notes. Cool, oh, cool. All right, so let's see. You earn gold. What can you do with gold? Okay, so let's check out packs. Okay, so these are all the packs I have. Do the store. I just want to check it out. I don't want to spend money. <laughs> I thought I don't want to spend money. I don't have money to spend. How about that? The best way to do this. Okay, so you get new offers every day. 10% off a draft token. A one-time purchase welcome bundle. It has to make sure it tells me there's a four times value. I will say... Uh, oh, never mind. I was about to give him a lot of credit that they had just the number 4.99 14.99 but that's to get the gems everything's got to cost gems man that you don't know how much you're spending um so they got bundles 20,000 gems gives you $100 gives you 20,000 a pack either costs 1300 gold Okay, for a mythic pack. I don't know what a mythic pack means. There's a full details. What is a mythic pack? Golden pack project. Progress. Purchase 10 or more packs to earn a golden pack. What's a golden pack? Oh, it's loading up on the side. Give me one second, guys. I'll read it. Here, no, I'll pull it up. No, I can't see it. Um... Is... Doesn't tell me what a golden pack is. 
I'm going to assume a golden pack means that I can get a um, alt <laughs> card or something. I don't know. You can unlock avatars, pets, stickers, card sleeves. I guess that would just be the backs. <laughs> Which, that's fine. Approximate appearances of remaining prizes. So, on your first pack, you have a 0 .0 two percent chance you've opened 483 packs you have a hundred percent chance of pulling everything for all prizes i don't know the odds on this do not make sense like so if i buy 500 packs essentially i can get it it's guaranteeing i'll get everything so it must have some sort of pool pool fixing built into it <clears throat> You can win upgrades to turn certain cards. You on Arena Vault Rewards, Mythic Wild Card, Rare Limited Packs. I let, I'm just going through this. It doesn't say what it is. I'll just assume a Mythic Pack is like an Uber Pack. It has a better chance of pulling stuff. Um, because you have a mythic pack and then you have a normal pack. A normal pack is two dollars or two hundred. Um, of this. How much do gems cost? Five dollars gets you seven fifty. Seven fifty will buy you two mythic packs. Um, so ten mythic packs. Maybe a mythic pack is all foil. At which which point I would always buy or maybe a mythic pack is like a double pack i don't know anyways but any let's see i want 10 okay so 45 packs that costs nine thousand. how much is nine thousand? so fifty dollars so it's not it's a little bit more than a dollar a pack um so what is that it's like a buck buck ten per pack essentially give or take i mean that's not bad it's not necessarily a bad, but you don't get a physical copy of it. But I mean, 90 packs is 18,000. So for $100. <laughs> I mean, ultimately, you're not getting anything out of it. It is what it is. But my biggest thing is just how many sets I have to buy. Look at this. Right? So, like, oh, I want to pull the one ring. I, I'm I'm blowing $100 per set, if not more. It just feels... And then if I went all the way... Does this, like, go all the way back to Tempest? I don't know. Probably. Um... Or you can buy each individual lands, right? So you can buy all the dual lands, or the current dual lands. Can you buy legacy cards? So you got a bunch of one-time purchases. Cosmetics. I mean, I will say this, right? That doesn't seem like it's bad. Like I, I was I would expect this to actually cost like fifty dollars. Because if it was Blizzard it would. This doesn't feel too bad. Companion of the month. I mean that's cute. And you can buy it with gold. So if you wanted to Oh look at the soul ring. That's pretty awesome. I mean Obviously, they have to make money. Oh, look at that Black Lotus. Yo, that's a legit sleeve right there. So this is what I'm saying. Like, these don't bother me, right? You don't have to have them. Why not let them make some money off of it so that the game can continue? I would say my only argument for this would be... I don't ever get this. I don't ever get a physical copy of this. This is all digital. At which point, this is the mastery system. So, is this a season?
Yeah, a mastery pass. 3400 How much was 3400 $20 for a season. Yeah, so twenty dollars. Okay, so you if you do the season pass, you get premium cards. <laughs> how long does the season last? Like how long do I have to unlock everything? <laughs> it doesn't say anywhere. I mean I'm not mad at it. You win packs too? Oh, you get a mythic card. Yeah, I mean, I'm not mad at that. You get one pack. So for twenty dollars, how many packs do I get? I mean, that seems legitimate. Like I, this seems like a really thought out system, and it actually doesn't feel very abusive, right? Um. So maybe. I don't know. I was gonna say maybe, we'll see. But maybe like, I just do a season and see how good I can do. Oh, wait, no, the packs aren't even down. The packs are here. Okay, so the additional packs. So, I automatically get these through the tree no matter what. And then I can earn additional packs for $20. Okay, so that makes sense. So that's one, two, what, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mythic cards. Alt arts. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 8, 19, 20, 20. Honestly, I could get behind this. This isn't, this doesn't feel exploitive, to be honest. All right, so maybe he's right. Maybe this is a better system than Hearthstone. It does feel like it, it potentially, and I can buy packs on the way. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll make this a, like a two-hour introductory video. Let's just rip these packs because I'm going to have to read the cards. You guys can enjoy it with me. Or I don't know, maybe you won't, but we'll see. Um, this is the newest set, so why don't we go to... How do I get... Can I scroll this? Okay, yeah, I can. I guess let's go to the back. And then we'll work our way forward. Okay. Do I get 12 cards? No. Um, okay, so what? Do I have to pick a side? I don't know. Okay, so we get melt through, 2 damage to a creature. Alright, so that's a shock. Target creature gets plus 2. That has a reach. Search the top third of your library. Round it up for a card. Put that card into your hand, then shuffle. That's really cool. All right, cool. So what? That's what these. So you get eight cards per pack. So it's half of a magic. So maybe a mythic pack gets you the full set or the full fifteen, which is a normal thing. Um. So this is not legal. What? I don't know what set that sign is, but that's like a gear. But that's sculpting skill. Is that what Urza Saga's symbol became, maybe? That's an, that's an older card. The sculpting seal's incredible. The Gixian Recycler. The hell is that? A wild card. Redeem this wild card for any uncommon card by adding the desired card to your deck. Alright. This must have been like a reprint of some sort of Urza. Urza Saga. What is that? Rare? Nice. I like how I can choose the rare I want. That's an amazing... That that feels like a much better system. Unless this counts for... I need to get six of these, and then I can get I get to pick it. The 
Defense grid. Oh my god, this this <laughs> this spell is so broken. With Winter Orb, you can control the shit out of the deck. I like how there's actually a lot of cards that I'm like recognizing. Starting intensity one. I don't know what that means. Perpetual. Perpetual effects are not removed from the cards that change zones. If it pieces together, intensity is four. Dead, take an extra turn. What? That seems good. It, prob it probably is either really hard to trigger or... Material Valor. So I like that, where you can just get a card to choose a card so that you can actually fix your deck to actually be playable. So you can have four of things. I, I actually really like this system. This seems really good. Rothian. Bonus sheet. What does that mean? I guess that means it's an older... Cool. Who would have thought Magic the Gathering knew exactly how to make a arena card game system? This is much better than the original one they released. Sacrifice a historic permanent, seek a historic card. Oh, maybe that's what it is. Is this considered a historic card? It must be, because it's from the old. These are all old. The Liquid Medical Link, that's an old ass card. Let's automaton prototype. So, does that mean I can cast it either as a seven or a three? Different mana cost, color, power, and toughness, and ability types. Okay, so if I cast it as a three, two, it's still it just keeps haste. It just becomes a red. So it becomes a three, two red haste. That's pretty cool. Ooh, self-assembler. Hey now, look at that. Hold my first, that mythic quality, if I'm not mistaken. All right, let's get Phyrexia. See if we pull anything good, Quicksilver, a bit here. Ooh, we pulled a, did I pull a Mox Opal? No, okay, never mind. Conjure a card named Mox Opal in your hand. No, it gives me a Mox Opal. And then with Mox Opal, I can Metalcraft with it. So when Metal, if I'm not mistaken, Metalcraft, that was a new one, was uh, you discard a card with it, and then... Or no, Metalcraft, you have to have a certain amount of, is that what it was? Maybe it's Metalcraft, you have to, um, you have to have that many artifacts in play. Maybe that's what that, that's how long it's been. Like, legit. And I can't, I can't, like, scroll over to the <laughs> box oval to look at it. Anyways. Lighter, Whispers of Dross, target creature gets minus one, minus one. Ooh, and proliferate. Hell yeah. I like proliferating. Contagion Dispenser. So, is Toxic Poison? No, Toxic. A player dealt combat damage by Toxic creature also gets Poison Cat. Oh, so it is. Okay, so Toxic is just Poison now. Hmm... Okay, so this set I probably really would have enjoyed playing because it has toxic When you seek one or more cards, create a 3 3 colorless Phyrexian Golem. Golems have vigil. Okay. So, what is considered seeking? Is that a. Is that any time you do any kind of uh, deck manipulation? Like, is Brainstorm considered a seek, or is that a specific... 
like is scry considered seeking what does menace do a creature with menace can't be blocked except by two or more creatures not just fear <laughs> we just we just renamed it yo look at this man just give me the all the mox opals i can dip down with that netting host or netling toxic too yeah. damn dude games must have been wild during this set <laughs> That's so much poison on like almost everything already read your thoughts. You won't stop us. I can get behind that. Give me that, Jace. What the frick does completed mean? Completed. Can be paid with two or two life. Yo, so this Jace costs three? Oh, but it comes in with two less loyalty counters, so it comes in with three. Okay. Oh, this is the mill, Jace. Yo, let's go. Well, I'm already not... I really should have given this a, a shot a long time ago. But, I wouldn't have been able to make videos. So you guys get to enjoy this. This is awesome. Maybe I picked the perfect time to come back. Because when uh, Arena first came out, it was not very great. But it feels like it, it's in a much better spot now. A 4-4... Four, four, wait. How are they just going to make a... I mean, it, I guess it is a rare. A 4-4 four, four trample with toxic and it proliferates on player damage? That seems janky and ridiculous and broken as fuck. <laughs> what the hell, dude? <laughs> Like, so I come from an era of magic where a 4-4 four, four creature for 3 is strong. Like, just being a 4-4 four, four creature for 3 is strong as hell. A 4-4 four, four creature with trample would have cost me, like, 5, naturally. 4 if it was a rare, and it would have been, like, a staple in any kind of green aggro deck, right? But not only does it is it a 4-4 four, four, and it has trample and it has toxic, so it's got poison. The damn thing proliferates as well on hit. That's freaking insane. I love it. I'm in for it. Do games even go past like turn four or five anymore in magic? Like is is just games instantly over? And I look at this thing. A f Toxic 3. 4-4 four, four, haste for 5. Yo, I'm all in. Who, who plays Hearthstone? Why would you play Hearthstone? Hearthstone just is so crazy. Oh my god, look at this thing. Phyrexian Obliterator. Mono black. Trample. Whenever a source deals damage to it, that source's controller sacrifices that many permanents. Holy shit. If you had some way to abuse that, and it's not even a creature, it sacrifices permanence, that's hate on a different level, guys. Wow. I'm so in, I'm so in for magic. Uh, this is bad. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I should probably not do this, because... If my objection is not to spend money I can't spend because I don't have it. If I had to say I could be addicted to anything, it's a trading card game. This is this is dangerous. You guys better keep me in check. Cause I'm getting all sorts of I'm getting all sorts of feeling. Yo, am I just going mono black? Cause I feel like I might. Six, sorcery speed. Return up to two target creature cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. Each of those creatures is now a black zombie. 
in addition to its other colors and types. Put Ever After on the bottom of its owner's deck. What? That seems really good, but it's expensive. But if you could find a way to manipulate it and abuse it, if you can mill your own deck, <laughs> oh man, I'm all for it. <laughs> Dead weight, that's a good one. Geist of the Archiver at the beginning of your upkeep. Try one. You're just gonna go and give me two? I mean, imagine if I pulled this back in real life. I, I don't even know if these are good, but. Alright, so we have. Bonus sheet. I think I'm unlocking things for unlocking packs, and that's what these are. But, anyways. You and humans you control have hexproof. That seems like a really strong commander card that you probably abuse the shit out of. But I don't know. Might not be able to. Oh my god. <laughs> Give every instant in sports. Oh my lord. Magic power levels seem stupid strong now. <laughs> like, I don't even know what to say. What does Madness do? If you discard this card, discard it into exile when you do, cast it for its Madness cost. If I can choose... If I discard it, I can choose to exile it for the mad and pay the Madness cost to cast it. So essentially, I can create, if I had any way to manipulate this, I could create a system where I turn a sorcery seed spell into an instant. So I can do four to target creature. Instant speed, kind of holy strength with lifelink. Uncaged fury, that seems pretty uh, lethal. It's kind of expensive, but. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I'm in trouble. <laughs> First of all, I don't know, and I'm gonna be so blind going into decks. That's an awesome art. Gargle Gluten of Herb. Herbog. 9 3. Well, that's an interesting stat, ra stat ratio. Consuming even a single drop of blood. Uh, it's just a straight 9 3 for 5. Yo, booster drafts must be wild. <laughs> Base power is this. I mean, that's incredible, too. It's a 2-3 potential boost on a 1-1 one, one creature. And just turn a creature into a 4-3 and draw a card. That's a really good swing. That, I would play the shit out of that in a booster draft. Because <laughs> it, it works in... Oh, my God. I can get into card games. Oh my god, what is this? Ogre Demon Dragon. Well, just, it's everything now, right? When Hitsugura Kari enters the battlefield, draw three cards. Then put two cards from your hand on top of your library in any order. Okay, so draw three, fix two. Exile the top card of your library. Target opponent loses life equal to its mana value. If it's an instant or sorcery, you get to pay it. I'm almost speechless by how freaking strong these cards are. This is insane to me. Play it for free. And they lose life equal to it. So if you just put some like abusive ass black spell on there. 
you mana fix over, you sack this creature, and just obliterate him. <laughs> you guys might actually watch like watching me play magic, because I am gonna build the dumbest ridiculous decks. And if I had the mana to spend on this, it would probably be even worse. But I'm going to have to be creative because I can't, right? So that's where I think this comes into play. When Invasion of Karras enters the battlefield, it does 3 damage to each creature and each planeswalker. What's a battle? Battle is a permanent that enters the thing with defense counters. As siege battle enters, your opponent will be chosen to protect it. While well, you can attack it. Okay, so it plays onto their battlefield, and then every time I interact with it, it does something. That's, that's actually kind of cool. That's a good mechanic. I like that. It's different. Hey, look, finally. Gain one life comes into play tapped. Not, not a problem. Defender? Wow, they haven't gotten rid of that shit yet. <laughs> Power 4, I can. Alright. There's always been a line of that. Alright, let's see what this thing is. Lurker of the Lock. Look at that art style. That's incredible. I love that. That's beautiful. Alright, so we got an awesome merfolk. This spell costs one less to cast for each artifact you control. Holy shit. <laughs> Tap. I just I gotta make sure I read that right. Tap. Choose target artifact card in your graveyard. You may cast that card this turn. Are you freaking kidding me? Well, I mean, shit. Are you kidding me? Emery seems broken as hell. Oh my lord, dude. Wizards of the Coast, what are you doing? Blue's always broken as hell. Death Touch, like Link, if a permanent entering the battlefield causes a triggered ability of a permanent you control to trigger, that ability triggers an additional time. Yeah, that's awesome. And it's got blue in it, so it's... This backup deal, I've never seen that. When this creature enters the battlefield, put a plus one plus one counter on, target creature. If that's another creature, it also gains the abilities printed below the until creature enters the battlefield put a plus one plus one counter on target creature. if that's an oh, okay so if i buff something else i also get to i also gain it or don't that also gains the abilities printed below this one until I think I have to see that work, but from what I'm understanding, backup one. It's going to come in with summoning sickness, so I wouldn't be able to tap it. So if something else targets this with backup, this gains this ability. I think that's how it operates. But anyways. Um, wow, that's, yeah, that's insanely strong. Incubate twice, what is incubate? Creates an incubator token with two plus one plus one counters on it. A tomb, transform into an artifact, it trams into a zero zero artifact creature. Brixian product, okay, so. The beginning of your combat or your turn so every turn i can choose to put incubation tokens on it i can choose to give it plus two plus two hmm. there's some things where i just need to see him be done once Ooh, what's this that's a really cool art style one day. One day? That'd be cool. Alright, I'm gonna try 
go faster. Anything that just automatically looks really decent or has amazing artwork. Four for Scry three. When it dies, draw three cards. If three or more creatures die this turn, that's an anti-wipe card. It's not bad. What? At the beginning of your combat, turn a creature into a freaking XX green blue bird, where X is the number of cards in your hand. So every turn I get a 7 7 flyer. That if it deals damage, I draw. I get a 7 7 thieving magpie every turn. Get the out of here. What the hell? Turn all non creature and non land permanents to their owner hands. Wow, that could be that could be a shit show. <laughs> Invoke, what does Convoke do? Your creatures can help you cast this. For each creature you tap while casting it, it pays for one of the colors mana. Okay, that's kind of cool. I'm sure there's a broke I have. It's purple. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, that player loses two life and draws two cards. So you get three cards a turn. <laughs> this must be a shit commander. <laughs> this must annoy the hell out of everybody. That's pretty awesome. One mana to reduce the activated cost of every creature and ability you control. Yo, that seems really strong. If you had a lot of creatures that were doing shit. This is really badass too. That's a, that's an incredible enchantment hate. It doesn't destroy it, but it definitely like would unlock your board. To be able to do stuff. Seems expensive. Here we go. Give me the one ring. I got so excited there for a second. <laughs> I saw it. Alright. Um, when fiery inscription enters the battlefield, the ring tempts you. When you cast an instant or search throw, you damage teacher. What? Yo, let's get it. That's incredible. That's a really good win condition if you had a deck that can go that can crack off. I don't know what tempting does. That must be something built in with the ring. So what does a tempting what does tempting do? Okay, so I don't know what th that does, but... Well, that's not the one ring, so I'm upset about that. EMO order. Woes, Pathfinder. Reason of Ising on Gandalf sinking deals X damp. Creature where X is in Excess damage is dealt. Yo, what the hell? That seems... Awesome. Samwise! I don't know if Sam is good though. I would buy the shit out of Lord of the cards, probably. Bilbo, the retired burglar. Gandalf's another Gandalf Sagan. Jim Lee's axe. Jim Lee's killing it. Urgh. Why couldn't that have just been the one ring? <laughs> Equipped creature has first strike is plus one zero for each instant. I'm in so much trouble, guys. I'm in so much trouble. 
I love how it, like impressive the artwork gets. Sir Joshua. Got double team. I don't know what double team does. When a creature with double team attacks, if it is not a token, conjure a duplicate into your hand. Then both of them perpetually double team. So it becomes the second one. But I can play them both because the legend rule doesn't apply. Okay, I was really confused by that, but now I get it. Each other creature you control named Sir Joshua has battle cry. What the f battle cry do? Oh. Dude, that's awesome. Sir Joshua, that's legit. So. Oh, when you control exactly two. I was going to say, can I just have a shitload of them on the battlefield? I can't. That's incredible, the prism. That's really good mana fiction. And it draws a card. There's literally no downfall to that. If you... I gotta speed up. Sorry. Okay. Dark tutelage. Wow. That's an old school card if I remember correctly. Rat out. <laughs> that might be manipulatable in a real fun way. I really like the artwork for this. Is this all like fairy tale creatures? Like it all looks like uh, like kids' books and fairy creatures. Nice. Ooh, I get to pick a random mythic wild card. Well, I know which mythic I would pick. I'm gonna have to do research before I turn these in. All right, we're just gonna go through quicker through this because I got work tomorrow. And voila. Murph of Tunnel. Valiant Bat. Valiant Bat Rider. <laughs> Looks like the bat from Fern Gully, kind of. <laughs> How do you put a random one from the library to your hand? I know the game can do it really quickly, but if that's like active in the field, do you pull them all out, shuffle them, pick one, and then you grab it? How am I gonna pull the same thing twice? And then I'm probably not even gonna use it. <laughs> Ixalan. Eaten by piranhas. Abula is awakening. That seems cool. That's really cool. The lands seem way more amazing. And they, it feels like they added a lot of ways to mana fix to try and make it better for people. The hell is this thing to sacrifice? Another artifact creature. Draw a card, activate. Three. Transform. Transform it, it adds one black. You may cast a creature spell from your card. What does finality do? If a burn has on it, it would go to the graveyard. Okay, so finality. So you can bring it back, but then you exile it? Who cares? You just brought it back by tapping this. Yeah. 
black. Add outpost, tricolor comes in tap. Apex creatures for it. Killer creature, power forward. Don't untap anything. Oh, that seems. Blue always has like weird, lucky ass giant creatures. I don't see why you would ever morph this. Oh, that's really cool. You can summon him from the graveyard do every single time oh despise yikes that's incredible I delve back to Deuce. Trample Ward. So you would play it face down and then in response flip it so that they could you could potentially counter the spell being cast if they don't pay the two from the ward. Okay. Playing mind games, I like it. Shock. I've probably owned like 5,000 shocks in my lifetime as well. <laughs> skeleton <laughs> so yeah they added a bunch of crimes to this this set breakout <laughs> unyielding geek <laughs> goblin mask me that's not The four for this doesn't seem good. Oh wow, that's really good. Return a creature from your graveyard to the battlefield. So five to cast anything. So if you can graveyard manipulate you and you give it menace, that could be a win condition. It's kind of expensive. 
But I don't know how much rant Mono Black has now. Fling, they brought it back. Nice. And look at that. That's incredible artwork on Fling. I love that. That's amazing. Bonnie. Bonnie creates bow. Bow. Get packs. I don't have any left. I don't have any money to spend either. Okay, so. We Good unlock to see you everything. Again. So do I go to mastery? I've earned twenty of these. How do I uh like how do I go to cards? Oh here you go. So I would go to deck builder to build them. So like what I wanted to make a new deck. I wanted a mythic. Can I do like can I put it in a card and then unlock it? Does that work? I like the format. Oh wow. What does a direct game mean? Can I just pick a card? Oh here you go, craft. I literally just froze the game. <laughs> Was not expecting that, but I think because I clicked craft. There you go. Damn, is it searching for absolutely every magic card? That's crazy. I guess, can I just pick Artifact? Oh, there it is. No, so I literally can just craft it? That's, that's a really good system. This is what Hearthstone needs. Alright, so I'm not going to do it because I don't know what I want to make. Holy shit, there's Emrakul. <laughs> oh, the promised one. Where's the other one? Where's the, like the 25, 25 one? That's amazing. So I can currently craft three mythic, eight rare, 18 uncommons, 12 commons. So I can almost build my decks. Yo, I am so down for this. Oh my god, guys. You don't know how excited I am. Okay. Um, <laughs> is Academy in here? It might not be. Hold on. I can suggest a land. <laughs> so that's really cool. I actually do like this. And then with a little bit of money investment, you can kind of build some really powerful decks that you'd never be able to play anywhere else. I'm down for this. This is awesome. I'm super excited for this. Good job, Wizards and Magic. Great, great job. Okay, so I was just getting into Good this to see. To see. I actually feel like you might be able to, uh, to build some really cool decks because you can get access. Like, I don't have to pull the one ring, right? I can just make it with a mythic thing. 
if I opened enough packs in a month, I would earn enough to earn a couple of mythics. I mean, if you're earning packs and you're buying, I, I really like this. I actually think we can make some pretty cool decks. We can be creative and I can kind of pick and choose how I want to do it. Um, but so what we'll do is I'll take a look at these, see where they're at, see what they are. Um, maybe I'll just do like a really fun goblin deck to start or something interesting and neat. Or maybe I'll try and build like a control deck. I don't know. But I'll take a look at it. I got to look into more in depth at this. But I really feel like this is actually possible. So the question was, do I think that I can actually level these things up? Or do I actually think I can play this free to play and enjoy it? I actually think I can. Because I've already, I already see a lot of potential. Um, obviously, yeah, they're going to try and get that money out of you. And it's. But for a minimal investment to have a game that you play online and enjoy. And like. I can't collect magic physically anymore, right? I couldn't be able to, I wouldn't be able to collect a trading card game like that. But I could spend a little bit of money each month and potentially like do something with this. And I think that's incredible. Why does this have a one next? Non format cards one. I don't know. But uh, drop a like, subscribe. Uh, let's enjoy this journey together. I think this is going to be a fun one. I get to do it incrementally and watch the decks kind of get powered up. See, give and take, how we have to be creative to get some wins. But this should be awesome. Uh, most importantly, do something kind of for somebody.